Hi, I'm Ken Oranger from Toro NYC, and I'm here to demystify bone marrow. When I make bone marrow, I like to make sure you get the best butcher you can possibly go to. You want to use the worst knife you can possibly find because you're going to hack the shit out of it. Take your bone and then use the heel of the knife to be able to kind of chip off the meat. Throw it in some cold water. You want to pour a ton of salt into it. The salt will leach out as much of that blood as, uh, as you possibly can. So you can see what this looks like and what this looks like just from soaking it overnight. And it will also firm up the marrow and allow it to cook a lot nicer when you're roasting it. Even though it's fat, you want to make sure that you rub it with a little bit of oil, which will generate the roasting process much faster. Season it generously with salt, pepper, and pop it in an oven that's at least 350 degrees. So it usually takes about 10 minutes or so, depending on the bones. And if you're really in a pinch, a great way to cook bone marrow is to put it in a microwave. And it comes out perfect every time because it cooks from the inside out, cooks it beautifully, custardy. And what we have here, now you can see how the marrow, when you touch it, it's just a little bit springy, which is exactly what you want. So nice and jiggly. And then the bread, which we added for the last couple minutes of toasting, is just sitting in this delicious marrow fat. So then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a little bit of our oxtail marmalade and we're gonna put it on top of our toasts. And then we'll take the bones, put a couple toasts on here also. And then we're gonna do our citrus salad. Oro blanco, grapefruits, lime, orange, lemon, salt, pepper, little chives. This right here is what we call neutral vinaigrette. So it's just lemon juice and a little bit of canola oil. And then we're gonna put some uh, radishes also. And we're just gonna toss this around a little bit. And then we'll just take our salad, just kind of scatter it around a little bit. We wanna have it with every bite of the whole dish. And this is our roasted bone marrow with oxtail marmalade and uh, citrus radish salad. You can just throw a bone in the oven and roast it off and scoop it just like eating a banana split right out of the bone. Or you can uh, pretty much take little medallions and just uh, spread them on toast. Okay, the next dish we're gonna make is basically caviar toast with bone marrow, candied lemon, and sea salt. So we're gonna take a piece of uh, rustic bread and we're gonna cook it in a little bit of olive oil. Okay, what we're also gonna do while it's toasting is we're gonna take a little bit of our marrow and we're gonna take out a small medallion, just kind of melt that in with the bread. We're gonna take a tiny piece of butter, add that to the pan. So then once we have both sides toasted up, we're gonna take a little bit more butter and just kind of get that to melt a little bit. Caviar. And with caviar too, some people are too cheap with caviar. If you're gonna use caviar, use caviar. Eat it once a year and eat a shitload of it. Then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of uh, candied lemon. And then we're gonna take some chunks of our roasted bone marrow and just kind of scatter them around. Again, you want to be able to get the marrow in every bite. We'll throw on a tiny bit of sea salt always on top of bone marrow. A little bit of chives, a little tiny squirt of lemon juice. And here we have it, caviar and bone marrow toast. Bone marrow being so bland, there's a lot of room to really experiment in terms of flavor profiles. You should not be intimidated by the flexibility of it. 